What's up everybody, welcome to my channel, I'm Nilo Angelo, you can catch me on YouTube at Nilo Angelo 2 or if you want, if you're a big time gamer, catch me on Twitch at Nilo Angelo 420 and also follow me on Facebook, on my Facebook page at Nilo Angelo 420. So today I'm going to be talking about these uh, two gaming units down below, the uh, USNC Vanguard, the, also known as the G190 and also the Century G155 gaming case. A uh, little difference between the two is obviously the G190 looks a little bit more um, boxed compared to the G155 that looks a little bit more rounder. Uh, the G155 comes with a 15 and a half inch LED screen and the UNSC Vanguard G190 comes with a uh, 19 inch screen built in. Um, the UNSC one on the game's website is currently out of stock right now, but you can still find them on Amazon or eBay. But the uh, replacement for these is the uh, Black Edition, which a uh, current friend I actually talked into getting has one, and he's actually enjoying it. So, yay me, I guess. Alright, so now back to the uh, gaming cases. Let's go ahead and uh, crack them open and compare what's inside them. So we're going to go ahead and start with the G155. Uh, the G155 has a retractable handle compared to the G190 where it's a fixed handle. And inside the G155 we have the 15 and a half inch screen. It's a glossy screen which kind of is like a nice little touch but at the same time it is also annoying if you're in direct sunlight because of the reflectorization. You have two stereo speakers. You've got your power button. Your volume, this is your uh, settings button, and then this is to go up and down your settings and change your settings. And then you also have two headphone jacks, an HDMI for the speaker, I mean for the uh, speaker and monitor. And then this is your uh, power source for the uh, monitor. So for the G155, it comes with two carrying pouches. They're both Velcro. I did kind of like this. I actually missed that they took this out from the... Uh, on when they made the G190, but the G190 also seems like it can hold a little bit more because it doesn't have the Velcro tightening it up as much. You have the two securing straps. And then you also have the uh, foam base. If you buy the G155, this is what the foam base looks like. You got one side that's made for the uh, PlayStation Slim or the Xbox 360 Slim. And it's also reversible for the uh, regular Xbox 360. Uh, the UNNC Vanguard one was only made for the PlayStation Slim and Xbox 360 Slim, but I have the Xbox One upgrade kit, so I actually carry my Xbox One with me in that, and we'll get to that later on in the video. Alright, here's are the accessories that comes with the G155 monitor. there so this is the power adapter for your monitor I know a lot of people had some concern about this when they made that because you know it doesn't really you know looks like it provides protection if there's like you know a, a severe you know power problem or whatever And then, last but not least, this is the uh, HDMI cable that comes with this monitor. That's for the uh, console. As you can see, since the console is mounted right there, you just plug it directly in. Or since the Xbox 360 and the PS Slim is small enough, you could pretty much just close it with this attached. From what I was told, but I usually like to unplug everything because I like to keep everything neat and clean. All right, now let's go ahead and move on to the UNNC Vanguard. Uh, one thing I will point out about the Vanguard that I do like that the 155 doesn't have is that the Vanguard comes with this stand on the back that actually pops right out to allow you to actually stand up the case at a 90 degree angle that way if you're sitting on a uh, table where you're level with the unit or sitting a little where you're or sitting below it you can see the picture better other than that you could probably use a DVD case or a game case to prop up the G155 to keep it at a 90 degree angle other than that, but if you're sitting above the monitor, the way it's sitting right now is perfectly fine. And then with the G190, that if you're willing to pay the 100 bucks more to get the 19 inch screen, it also comes with its own uh, carrying strap, which makes it a lot easier. 
the clips here look a lot more secure compared to these rounder types. All right, so in the G1, G190, you have the 19 inch LED monitor. You got your two uh, channel comb speakers. Get out of here, dog. You got your two speakers. These ones are an improvement compared to the ones in the G155. Uh, same thing, you got your power, volume, uh, display settings, and the display menu button. Good job, idiot. And then you got your uh, HDMI, and then you got your two uh, audio, and then the uh, input power for the uh, monitor. Now, for the accessories for the G190, I already had them pulled out. Let me go ahead and grab those real quick. This is actually the power adapter for the G190. Like I said, you know, this one's a more of an improvement compared to the 155 to help protect your equipment in case there's like a power, a uh, surge of power or whatever. And then you got the HDMI cable that comes with. And then also it comes with its own little remote which makes it handy so you don't have to actually do this all the time unlike with the G155. And then that's pretty much uh, basically it for the uh, inf for the info on the uh, gaming cases. And then the next step, I'll hook up my uh, brother's Xbox One, and then we'll do a side by side video comparison. And then we'll also mess around with the speakers and stuff like that. Go ahead and push pause.